Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today, I'll be discussing uh, the uh, brachycephalic vein. Um, well, the brachycephalic vein is made up of basically two, uh, the right and the left. And um, we have gone a little bit over um, mentioning the brachycephalic vein when we talked about the internal jugular vein. Um, here uh, in this in this part of the notes on page 53, if you, if you have it, um, it lists all the differences between the right and the left and summarizes both of those two in just this table. I think whatever is written on here is very sufficient for uh, your answer. Um, when you talk about the uh, any vein or any artery or any nerve, you, you need to mention um, where it begins, where it goes, where it ends, what are the tributaries, the relations around it, um, so that you understand when you, when you talk about relations, you're basically talking about what's present um, um, around it or uh, where is it situated so that you know exactly where the structure lies in the body. Okay, so uh, the, the um, brachycephalic veins are located in the uh, thorax and they're the largest uh, veins present, not the largest, but some of the largest veins that present in the thorax. Uh, apart from what they actually form later. The superior vena cava, for example, is uh, one of the uh, largest veins uh, present in the thorax. And uh, so that's why it's discussed just after it, the superior vena cava. So uh, just to let you know that the, the right and the, uh, the, the, the beginnings, uh, where they begin. So for the right one, when we talk about the right one, we're talking about the one um, near the, your right hand, obviously, so it will be this one right here. Uh, the beginning is behind the medial end of the right clavicle, right, um, by union of right internal jugular vein and the right subclavian vein. So the right internal jugular vein comes from the top, the right subclavian comes from the arm, and um, they join together to form the right branch or the right uh, brachycephalic vein, okay? And so uh, the length of it is about one inch, as you see, it's very short. Uh, it descends nearly vertically in the superior metastinum along the right side of the brachycephalic artery. Okay, so um, you, what is the superior metastinum? So when you study the mediastinum in the future, you'll know that the mediastinum is basically the space that lies within the uh, lungs. And so it's made up of superior, middle, uh, and inferior. And so the uh, brachycephalic veins are basically present in the superior mediastinum and they are present along the right side of the brachycephalic artery so in close relations obviously whenever whenever there is a vein there's always an artery and so that's that's just where it goes and where it lies and its course so um about so it begins at as we said the right clavicle um, a medial end and a middle, uh, middle, uh, medial, uh, middle end, um, and by the union of the right internal jugular vein and the right subclavian vein, um, and so it descends until it joins with the left brachycephalic vein um, to form the superior vena cava. So the relations here laterally, so laterally most externally, um, the uh, right phrenic vein, the right internal mammillary artery, and the right pleura and the lungs. Okay, um, the posterior, the, the posterior medially, okay, so posterior, posterior side medial, um, it is related to the brachycephalic artery and the right vagus nerve. Okay, so this is very nice um, for you to know so that exactly uh, what you can say. So you, should, you can see here that uh, the right lung is present uh, laterally to the right brachycephalic vein. And then posterior medially, you can talk about what's present here, uh, the brachycephalic artery, as we said, and the right vagus nerve. And so they terminate, how it terminates, the, uh, the, the two veins, actually right and left, unite behind the right border of the sternum, okay? Um, opposite to the lower end of the first right costal cartilage to form the superior vena cava, okay? Right here. And so tributaries of the right brachycephalic vein, you have the right vertebral vein, you have the right inferior, inferior thyroid vein, you have the right in, internal uh, mammillary vein, um, you have the right first posterior intercostal vein, and right lymphatic duct. 
So these are very good to mention when you're talking about the tributaries of the right brachycephalic vein. So for the left one right now, we're talking about um, this one right here. It goes from the left side. It, it um, begins behind the medial end of the left clavicle by the union of the left internal jugular vein and the left subclavian vein. So internal, um, internal left internal jugular vein and the left subclavian. It's about three inches long. It's longer um, because it extends towards this side, right? So that's why it's a bit longer. Um, it's about three inches long. It runs obliquely downwards to the right, um, to the right behind the upper half of the manubium sterni along the upper convex aspect of the arc of the aorta. So um, you have the, it, it goes, it goes uh, um, to the right, right? So it's on the left, it goes to the right. Um, behind the upper half of the manubium sterni, right here, the manubium of the sternum, and then along the upper convex aspect of the arc of the aorta. So the convex aspect of the aorta is here, so it runs just up above that, okay? So anteriorly, what's present uh, is the uh, thymus gland, right? So when you, when you uh, study uh, the manubium, um, you will have um, in the superior and most anteriorly, you'd have the thymus. Okay, so that's why it says remains of the thymus gland, uh, the sternohyoid muscle and the sternothyroid muscle and the manubrium sternum. Okay, and posteriorly to that, it crosses the three branches of the aortic arch and the trachea. Obviously, so you have the aortic arch, three branches of it extending from here, it crosses this and it crosses anterior to the trachea. So there, these structures are present posteriorly to it. Uh, the termination, of course, as we mentioned that before, now the tributaries of the left brachycephalic vein uh, includes the left vertebral vein, the left inferior thyroid vein, the left internal mammillary vein, the left first posterior intercostal vein, left superior intercostal vein, and the thoracic duct. And so these are the tributaries of the left brachycephalic vein. Uh, this is it for the brachycephalic vein. If you have any questions, um, I'll just leave this table for you to pause here. Um, this is very, very good for your, for your uh, answer or your knowledge about the uh, brachycephalic veins and where they start, where they end. And so the end of them is the superior vena cava and the start of them is the internal jugular veins and the subclavian veins. And so they differ because they're on the left and the right. And so the lengths differ because they want to travel towards uh, a certain spot where the subclavian vein is. Very quick and easy. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you um, find it helpful. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.